comrade. Bright moons. Aelith is glad to see you again. She would trust no one else for the task before us today. The Council has spoken. Seize all colors never return to the fold after your visit to Abagarlis. She has fled. She is guilty. She must be killed. I have an idea, but we must confer with Merrick. He's returned to the Earth Forge to finish work on the Prismatic Core. Aelith is ready to open a portal, take us straight to his side. Are you prepared? Seems like we were just here, yes? By forge and fire we prep for war! Ah, you hear Merrick there at the forge. He has already begun. With war in our eyes we ready to die! This prismatic weapon could be a powerful force against Molag Ball, yes? With death in hand, we bear our blades! It is a difficult task we undertake today, to hunt a comrade. I'll begin the ritual. My work here is nearly complete, comrade. The core will soon be a weapon once again. I believe so, O oh my comrade. There's really only one way to find out. You will bear it into battle. The ultimate test will come against the Mortum Vivicus itself. No doubt Aleph has already told you of the Council's decision. The province generals have condemned Colors to death. She never returned to any of her quarters. She seems to be avoiding guild members. My friend, I don't know what to think. Aleph has a plan. Everything about what she proposed sickens me, but we are desperate. She believes Yafner can find colors, track her somehow, that they are linked. She also thinks... Bah! She thinks colors has turned on us, that she's gone over to the Prince of Lies, and if we can find her, we'll find the Vivicus, Enough! My friend, before you speak to her, I must ask of you a question. The one bright spot in the room, the prismatic weapon. I can forge it in any form you desire. Stendar himself speaks through my craftsmanship today. What will you wield? A great sword? A fine choice, oh my comrade. It will be done. Speak with Aleph and I will have a gift for you shortly. <laughs> Let us summon our old friend. He will know where his murder hides. Damn it, Kat! Can't you let an old ghost be at peace? Not just yet, old Nord. Aleph has one more question for you. Where is she's all colors? Where does she hide? You know I cannot. I cannot tell you. He holds me bound. Tell Aleph. Or she will show you what it means to be bound. Ah, she... She sought out the Mortum Vivicus. It's... It's in the halls of submission. Don't go, comrades. She's... Enough! Alif is up to the challenge. But don't worry, Yafnir. She will let Molag Ball know how helpful you be. The weapon is ready, comrade. Take it from the anvil and follow us into battle.
the moment. Elif recognizes this set. Yes, these crystals control access to the room ahead. Comrade, focus on that first crystal. By the mace, it worked. Comrade, come to this crystal here. Merrick, you focus on the one by the door. I've got it. That's it. Merrick, you hold that beam. Aleph will use the last crystal to open the door. We are almost there. Just one more beam and we are through this door. Success! Let's go. Seize all colors must be close. Feels like the old days, Aleph. Let's get this done. within Aleph. I didn't know, not for certain, but I believe she serves the Lord of Lies and consorts with his minions. I know I should have, but Merrick is a servant of Stendar. I feared he would react badly to my love of the lady, as if she were like that foul schemer Molag Bal. A Daedric prince like Molag Bal, but totally unlike that cruel monster. Meridia is the Sunfire, Enemy of the undead, beacon to all that live. End to the dark plots of necromancers, the culling of cultists, and the death of Daedra. In short, she's offended by the god of schemes. She will stop this weapon and crush his champions beneath her heel. You see it before you, the Mortum Vivicus. After our time in Abagarlis, I knew that stopping this monstrous creation must be my priority. The lady sent me a vision. Dark path through oblivion. It's taken me all this time. Yes! Snatched from Tamriel just as the aliens were to destroy it. Lurking here all this time like a caged beast, while Molag Bal fed its soul after soul, restoring it to unholy potency. I know your decision will be just. What have you decided?
destroy this abomination, this Sportum Vivicus. Throw the weapon into the center of the construct. Moloch Ball's dark plot will be at an end. Don't be afraid. I will keep you safe, my god. I will light your way home. You've done well, my friend. The Mortum Vivacus is destroyed. It has been an honor to save the guild I served in life. Now the Council has assembled. You should speak to them. Unless Hakruba has changed a great deal since my death, she won't like to be kept waiting. She intimidates me as well, comrade. Do not worry. I'm sure Hakruba will treat us fairly. Stand up, make me truthful. Comrade, the Council has faith in you. I have faith in you. As does Stendar. What you did, you did for the good of the Guild, and all of Tamriel. I know they will support your choice. Comrade, it is good to speak with you again. Beira told us of Aleph's plan to hunt seize all colors. I see that Merrick and the spirit of Yafnir Iceblade accompany you. Tell us, for all, and the ape to hear. What happened? Carrying out our sentence, punishment for her foul deed, and yet I notice that she still stands hale and whole. Why is this? Truly? Just? The murder of a brave and fair-handed leader was just? What words did she weave to convince you of this? I see. I know Meridia is an enemy of death across Tamriel. A light in the darkness, but still. Very well. We will deal with her in a moment. Where is the Khajiit Aleph? Yet more betrayal. I've known for years that her tongue was forked. But the Lord of Lies! You have cleansed an evil corruption from the guild, comrade. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You do not need to worry about Merrick. We have already reached our decision about him. However, seize all colors. Comrade. Normally, we would never allow a Daedric worshipper to remain close to the guild leadership, but these are desperate times. It brings me some unease to admit, but I think you're right. And I believe I know just what service she can offer. If you will, comrade, attend me at my side. We have some matters to discuss. Seize all colors. Present yourself to the Council. The Council has decided we will honor the contract to fight the Daedra. Meridia continues to provide coin through her worldly servants. But we cannot allow a murderer to remain Guildmaster. I understand. We have decided to award you a new title. The Light of the Guild. You will advise the new Guildmaster in all matters relating to the Daedra for the rest of your days. Penance for the blood on your hands. Thank you, Countess. I will not let you down. You are dismissed. Merrick, present yourself to the Council. Merrick Etiswala, in light of your service to the Guild, in light of your sound judgment and brave heart, we cannot think of anyone more appropriate than you. You, Merrick, are to be the new Guildmaster of the Fighters Guild. It will be your responsibility to oversee completion of the contract established by Seize All Colors. Remain vigilant against the forces of Molag Bal. The Guild is a shield, a bastion for the people of Timriel. Wear it well. You've been quiet, Merrick. What do you have to say about all this? I thank you, Council members. I accept this position with honor and grace. I swear to my ancestors, I will not let you down. Now, Guildmaster, please see our friend out. We have much to discuss, and little time in which to plan. 
Comrade, we wish you well in your travels and look forward to our next encounter. Come, Comrade. You can't do much good hiding in this forge. Let's get you back into the fight. Speak with me a moment, comrade. Who could have known we'd be standing here like this, my friend? You destroyed an artifact of the Prince of Lies, and I... I'm the new leader of the Fighters Guild. Stend our sweaty sword arm. I still have trouble understanding everything that's happened. Alif dead, a minion of Molog Ball, and sees all colors. Did we do the right thing? Aye, you're right about that. But Aleph was my friend, comrade. I'd known her for... We used to joke, you know, about what we'd do if we led the guild. Without her, I don't know what I'm going to do. Do you have a favorite tavern? Ha! Right now, my friend, I will rest. What comes tomorrow comes then, and only Stendar knows what challenges we'll face. For now, I will talk to the Council and plan for that tomorrow. Yes, actually. I'll make sure the way to the Earth Forge remains open to you from now on. I've found that the gear forged here often has special qualities. You might find it to your liking. Good luck, my friend. This great time of unrest within the guild is at an end. You've done very well, comrade. I am bound for Sovngarde and the halls of Iskramor. But before I take my leave, I would make for you a gift. The prismatic weapon. I retrieved it from where it had fallen after the Mortum Vivicus was destroyed. You are a true hero of the guild, comrade. You deserve nothing less. What's more, consuming the Vivicus has unmade the weapon. It is once again in its primal form. I can return it to your hand in any shape you desire. What do you say, comrade? Comrade, I grow very tired. My time here on Tamriel has gone on far too long. I go now to join my ancestors. To feast in the halls of those gone by. I go knowing that the Fighters Guild is in very good hands. <laughs>